Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. In this video, I'm going to talk an easy way to EDC a tourniquet and wear a belt at the same time. When we talk about using belts as tourniquets, they're not really tourniquets for the most part, most of the time. Most of the time, you have a really good pressure bandage that's been applied. So, you put it on, you pull it tight, and you're probably just making a pressure bandage. You need some kind of mechanical advantage, like you tie a knot, and you start to rotate the belt. That gives you the mechanical advantage to make it tighter. So we'll take a little bit closer look at the belt here. You do order your size that you need for your waist size when you order it. And then it has a place to write the time down if you use it. You have a nice buckle here, nice cobra buckle that you're going to apply. And then this is our ratcheting system to make it a tourniquet. So I know you're like, I have seen that buckle before. And you're absolutely correct. This is the same mechanism that's on the TX2 and the TX3 tourniquets which were recently added to the Teachable C recommendation list. As you can see, we do have some reinforcement on the back here of the belt. So the belt's about an inch and three quarters, which fits just fine in these blue jeans right here. Here you do have a little tab that can un-Velcro to help give you a little bit of advantage when pulling it tight. So, you guys can even tell that I'm EDC in a tourniquet. Now I will say that probably one hand application is out the door on this so there's no way you can be able to feed it through this buckle and tighten it up on your arm to get it applied. So one hand application is out the door. I'll put a link down below to uh, RevMedX's website so you can go take a look and find more details about the pair belt. One of the things is you're going to find that it's not the cheapest belt on the market but I think the time you spent the money buying one of these belts like these and a tourniquet, you're going to find out the price is actually okay. So I hope this video helps. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training. could wear my shirt like this. So no one knows I have a tourniquet. If you're going to EDC a tourniquet, you could always carry a pouch like this around. This is the SOE medical pouch here. And what I do in mine, this is my tourniquet collection that I show off. So you could always carry something like this. Check out my nice belt buckle. 